It's a lovely sunny Friday morning. We're down at Grange, so we got the Land Rover Defender in today for a few well, minor little glitchy things. A um, couple of what have we have? The 360 camera system is supposed to stop at 10 miles an hour, but I had it driving along the other day at 50, and the screen was showing me 360, which was quite cool. You could see everything like zipping past and down the side of your car, but not quite it's supposed to happen. I mean, not a problem, just a glitchy thing, but I think probably worth checking out because it worries me that it could be like a speed sensor, but obviously it can't be a speed sensor because it was showing me I was doing 50, so. Um, what else are we looking at? I've had a couple of warning messages saying emergency steering and brake assist not available, so we're gonna have a look at that. And I also lost power steering the other day, so we're gonna hopefully Land Rover head office are gonna sort of teleport into the car and do some readings and see what happens but there we go we've got our snorkel on it now we got uh we got the rear tow hooks on and we've also um we made a little finisher julian made a made a little finisher plate now so that looks better so that's with the finisher and then on the other side is land rover have it you can see without the finisher you can see all the so we got those finishers finished and we've got these come in now so we'll get those on the website but other than that our land rover defender adventure continues We've just collected a Disco commercial, Disco 5 commercial from the main dealer. They're playing with the Defender. Um, interesting things, we've got a head-up display. So I'm not gonna sure if we're gonna capture this with the camera, um, but there's a head-up display there in the windscreen. Be interested to see whether the camera does capture it. But it's a bit odd, if you go higher up up here, which is above my normal sitting position, it's quite bright and it does get dimmer. And then if you go to, if I slouch, it sort of disappears. So we'll have a look at that later. Um, we've got the touch pro controls here, so as I slide these, it goes, there we go, which is quite cool. And also it's got blind spot mirrors, which are quite good. These are again features I haven't got on my other cars. So that little square in the top corner of the blind spot mirror, when someone comes up, um, we can see someone coming up now. So you'll see that they will disappear from view, but they, see the illuminating in the corner. Um, there you go, he's going some. Right. Oh, another crazy Friday. So we've just done two containers, two 40 foot containers. They're like buses, these containers. You get none and then you get two turn up at once. So yeah, we're working up a bit of a sweat. We've got two full containers. So a lot of products that was out of stock, uh, that were out of stock even, will now be back in stock. So we've got to try and get it all out and checked and ready. So you'll see if you're waiting for product, it should be in stock now. I think to keep an eye out on the website for next week is we have just got a load, and I mean a load, hundreds of alloy wheels come in. These are genuine Land Rover alloy wheels. Now, I am not an expert on alloy wheels. I don't claim to be. We sell a few bits and pieces, but um, this is quite interesting. So these are 22 inch alloy wheels that were fitted to the SVO Autobiography Dynamic. Range Rover. So I've got these coming in in a series of finishes now. Uh, there we go. These, this one, they got sort of a, I don't know, I think they call it like a ceramic polish, but it's definitely a, it's always hard to get the finish, but it's a, a darker grey with a polished front. Now, these wheels are forged. Now, most alloy wheels are made by a process called casting, and when you curb them or they hit, um, they they tend to break and they'll like crack a section out. Um, now these are forged. Now these were for sale for a thousand pounds a wheel, believe it or not. And I don't think they sold many. So um, when you look inside, it's quite interesting. They have quite a different look. Normally a cast wheel, and we'll, we'll grab one and have a look. Normally on a cast wheel, you have a, a sort of dish here and you'll have some numbers stamped. But these are forged wheels and you can see if you look right in the middle here, they're sort of all made by machining out. So they, I don't quite understand the difference between forging and casting, but what I do know is forged wheels are well expensive and they're also um, stronger. So a lot of rally cars use forged wheels as opposed to cast wheels. And so instead of, they've had to write all the specs on them down the side here. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. So if you look down here, we've got all the spec written here. They're all sort of indented in. Made in Taiwan by 
super alloy. So there we go. We'll get those on the website hopefully next week. But they're massive. They're, they're 22s. So they should fit the Spore L494, the L405. And I'm going to try them on the Defender. Now, you might think, why would you want them on the Defender? But I just thought with the forged strength bit, they might be a, an interesting upgrade on our Defender. Um, so we'll have a look at that next week. I, I haven't got the Defender at the moment. Um, but we'll have a look at that. So... There we go. That's our first delivery. Um, they can only deliver. They fill their van, so I can only get them twenty at a time. But we'll have loads of those next week. So there, yeah, there we go. I've got a, a cast wheel here, so you can see in the middle here. You can see this is the cast finish. So it hasn't got the machining like the forged one, and it tends to have the right in cast in. I guess because in the casting process, it's easier to put the writing along in the spokes there so that's the cast wheel which are strong enough for most most purposes but that's the forged wheel that they did and yeah you know, that was on the five liter supercharged l405 and i think they've got a higher power weight rating um as well because they're stronger so i think that's why they fitted them on the top spec cars but there we go we'll have a go at getting those on the defender possibly